You guys requested it. Specifically, I think his name was Mr. Magma? If I'm wrong, I'm so sorry. There's your actual name, if I was right or wrong. Anyways, it was requested that I do an old versus new on Bumblebee. Specifically, the new... Uh, just the new Earthrise Netflix Bumblebee. Now, granted, I already have done an old versus new, but that was about the tiny Bumblebees, the old original um, 1980s vintage G1 Bumblebee compared to the new tiny Bumblebee, the Titans Return Legends class. But this is about classic slash generations deluxe bumblebees the oldest one being the classics mold here represented once again by the reveal the shield version because that's the only one i have and the new netflix bumblebee um with a nice reaper label i put on his chest he does not have the autobot symbol on his chest i put that there because i needed it there uh but yeah uh the bumblebee classics He's gone through a transformation. He is finally, after so many years, a Volkswagen Beetle, uh, which is great. Uh, it's very nice that we finally have a VW Bumblebee. One thing you can definitely tell, uh, the original one was already pretty small, but the new one is even smaller. Uh, they did kind of make them a little bit more of like classic Legends class size, almost to fit in with the other mini bots you already have, which personally, I really appreciate that. Do I feel like it was worth the deluxe class price point? I don't know. And definitely not worth like just 10 bucks, but still, eh, eh. I'm, I'm happy to have him. <laughs> he is definitely the best G1 Bumblebee character representation in my collection. I don't have any of the Masterpiece ones, uh, but really do like this figure. But we must talk about where it all began, that being the Classics Bumblebee mold. Now, when I got this guy, he was already a little... I think I got him for free, actually. Uh, <laughs> he was a little dinged up. He's always kind of been a little worse for wear, unfortunately. Um, but you know what? It's all right. Uh, the Classics mold um, is definitely a unique one. Honestly, I still love it, though. And I like this Reveal the Shield repaint because he almost has the uh, the bumble the movie striping on him. So it's just kind of like a, a combination of both worlds, and I really dig that. So you may be wondering, what the hell's on his shoulders? Uh, that would be a jet ski that has that is wings as well, also. Um, <laughs> that's the last time you're going to see it on him. Yeah, it's just like a weird wing pack they just gave him that also transforms into a jet ski, because why not? Ooh, that totally came off. That's great. Where'd that go? Where, where is that? Is it in my pants? Or is it on the floor? On the floor. That is where it went. There we go. So just plug that back in and you got yourself a little jet ski with a little... with It has a jet ski and then it has the, the trailer on it. It's weird. <laughs> it's weird. But it's what he came with. The actual figure though, the robot mode, I love. He's just got this cuteness to him. I love the head sculpt. I, I honestly probably still prefer this over the new one. Just because he has character. He's smiling. He looks so cute. I love his yellow chin too. Something about that. I like Bumble, like G1 Bumblebees with the yellow chin. It just kind of helps him stand out a little bit. Um, yeah, he just looks nice. Let's see if the rub symbol works still. Yep, it does. He is an Autobot. Yeah, he's got, like, just this really interesting, you know, way about him. Uh, his legs are a little stiff and stocky, uh, but he's an old classics figure. That's kind of how they go. But still, just look at him. He's just got this presence. He's just a cool bumblebee, man. <laughs> he's just really cool. I really like him. Like, I still genuinely really like him. Uh, I like his, his, his... Something about his backpack, too, is also really appealing. It just kind of gives him this stout look. And I just really like it. I just really like him. And I like how the car panels kind of form the shins. And he still has, like, the G1, like, you know, front of car feet. I don't know. He still carries the G1 Bumblebee's, like, presence while still being his own thing. And that's what Classics was. That was what Transformers Classics was. And I love this version particularly because he also has the movie stripes. So it's, it's almost like this toy is a celebration of Bumblebee. And I just really like that. His articulation, his head's on a ball joint that's based on the back of his neck. So he has all the way up, side to side, a little bit of tilt. His shoulders are kind of on butterflies because of the transformation. But they're also on ball joints at the shoulder, ball joints at the elbows. Uh, nothing at the waist, but he has ball joints at the hips, hinges at the knees. And I guess you can say he's got a hinge at the ankle too. Uh, unfortunately, you can see how the door wants to get in the way there. Because he has doors, <laughs> which is interesting. 
But yeah, overall, he's just such a cool, fun figure, man. I really do like him. Uh, so yeah, he's got a lot of character and charm. And the new one is just basically good. Uh, he, he's just, you know, he's what you would expect out of a good modern Transformer. But he's not, like, as charming in some ways. But still, he's classic G1 Bumblebee. He comes with Cliff Jumper's Bazooka again. Which is uh, not really necessary for this character. And I'm not really going to show it off much. Um, yeah, he's got Cliff Jumper's Bazooka. Honestly... If you know, you know, Siege, uh, War, uh, the Earthrise Cliff Jumper, he's got the bazooka. It can kind of transform into like the jet skis that Cliff Jumper used. But Bumblebee doesn't use that. Get your weapon set that came with that Centurion guy, and give him the G1 Bumblebee Blaster. There you go. Put a repro label on him. I actually went in with his eyes. His eyes were kind of dull. I went in with a blue, like a light blue sharpie. And I made his eyes look more nice and blue. I think that made a lot of difference. So yeah, now he looks very nice. Uh, <laughs> so definitely maybe put a little bit of time into him. Unfortunately, though, he does come with one other accessory. <sighs> yeah. His car is a shield, guys. Honestly, it doesn't look like the worst shield ever, but it's so obviously just the back of his car. It is kind of disappointing that they just made that, like, a, a weapon accessory instead of making it be able to flawlessly transform. Now, granted, I don't mind the back kibble. It looks fine. I mean, he looks fine, but still, it's it's a little... Eh. Anyways, his articulation, uh, he's got ball joint at the head. Doesn't have too much, you know, wiggle-waggle range, but it gives you a little bit. Um, uh, he's got... Universal joints at the shoulders. He's got the elbow. He got the wrist. He got the waist. He got the hips. He got the thigh. Even though they can't really move the thighs inward. He got the knee and he got the ankle pivot. So he can indeed do the full splits, which is something you can do if you want Bumblebee to do that. So that's good. That's nice. That's special. That's that's good. I do like his head sculpt, but he just looks very emotionless. It's kind of disappointing. He just has nothing going on. I don't know. He's just so plain. I wish he had a little smile or a smirk or something. I mean, given how expressive they made the Seekers for Siege and Earthrise, I'm kind of surprised they uh, they left Bumblebee emotionless. But anyways, let's transform the old one. Uh, this will be fun. I genuinely love this transformation. So how to transform this guy? It's pretty simple. Um, you just kind of do it. Uh, <laughs> I know that sounds kind of lame and basic but you just kind of flip him around he just kind of naturally comes together in like the most perfect way like i just love how everything sort of flips and hinges i sort of pull things out and push things back in and then i think i did that wrong yeah you got to bring that up first and then also he's got the, the he's got actual seats too which is kind of neat see i bring his legs up with his seats tab them together get them together Put them together. What do you got? You got yourself the cutest little Bumblebee car of all time with the racing stripes on it. Because he's Bumblebee and he's going to race. And he's going to win the race. Because he's Bumblebee and Bumblebee wins everything he does. Because kids love Bumblebee and he must win. Um, <laughs> Alright, sorry about that. Uh, here is Bumblebee in his car mode. I love this car mode. You can put the little jet ski. Oh, look at that. That's adorable. Yeah, <laughs> um, cute car. I didn't put the arms in entirely right. Ugh. Ugh. Oof. Yeah, he, he, oof. Yeah, you know, you know what I mean. There you go. It's a nice car. It can roll well. Um, at least I think it could, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. It can roll very well. It just has this nice look to it. I just really enjoy that. This one um, isn't too bad, but it's a little, it's a little finicky. Maybe it's just because of his size or something. I mean, that's definitely been a running trend with these uh, old versus new videos, is that the newer ones are definitely not as simplistic or fun to transform. <laughs> They're a little more of a pain. Um, which, it's it's to be expected. I mean, they've made these figures a lot more intricate and involved to make them more accurate. But still, you know, how far should you go to make the figure accurate to the character? at the expense of making the figure fun. 
Uh, now, granted, this guy's definitely not one of those cases. He's still a fun figure. His transformation's still fun. I love how it, like, totally flips around and does all that crazy stuff. And you can see he's pretty much already put together. You just kind of got to line everything up, get it all tabbed. Which, honestly, it kind of does it on its own. And then, you just got to take that and just... He holds it. <laughs> Man, he holds his back. But there you go. Volkswagen Bumblebee Beetle. The yellows, obviously, per usual, don't really match from the paint, but that's to be expected. That's just how it always goes. But yeah, you can see he's way smaller. <laughs> he's so puny. He is so puny. Um, but you can kind of see the tabs on the wheels where like, you can put the jet skis. And then it's just, that's just how it goes. You can see those tabs there where you can put the... Like, it just, it goes on. It, that's, that's how it, who cares? Uh, it's not a bumblebee thing. It's a cliff jumper thing. Honestly, I wish they didn't include that, and I wish they gave him something else. But, yeah, how does he roll? Eh, not too bad. Not too bad, honestly. He rolls all right. But, yeah, finally, Volkswagen Beetle Bumblebee, and it is branded, too. You can see they actually did paint that silver right there. That's really nice. So yeah, honestly, out of both these figures, um, it's kind of pick which one you like. One's very faithful to G1, and the other is just kind of its own thing. And honestly, man, I like them both. I'm keeping them both in the collection. Uh, the, the Bumblebee from Classic slash Reveal the Shield has its place among my other Bumblebees. And this one is now my new kind of main Classic shelf Bumblebee, because it's the Classic Bumblebee. So yeah, there we go. Another old versus new, out of the way, said and done. Let me know what you'd like to see next. Um, I often do like the new Studio Series and Generations releases for these, but I don't do all of them because I don't have the old ones to all of them. I do what I, you know, what I feel like, and I do what I can do. Alrighty, guys. <laughs> Here we go. That's pretty much it. Have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.